On the green fields of football, men fight for yardage. In times of war, many of these same men fight for our freedom. They are the GIs of the gridiron, citizen warriors who went from football fields to battlefields. When the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941, the mighty of the NFL exchanged leather helmets for those made of steel. Hall of Fame legend Art Donovan was one of them. Well, the first time I saw combat was uh, on an aircraft carrier. I was uh, loaded on a 40 millimeter gun. And there were, I guess, four Japanese kamikaze planes coming down on our ship. I says, uh-oh, here we go. Future NFL player Al DeMeo was there on D-Day. Made seven landings into the beach. And yes, there were a lot, a lot, a lot of lives all over the shore. Chuck Bednarik, another Hall of Famer, was a gunner on a B-24 Liberator. When you got to the target, the bombs were dropped. I mean, I'll tell you what, God was with me is all I got to say. By war's end, nearly a thousand men interrupted or delayed their NFL careers to serve the cause of freedom. 19 GIs of the gridiron lost their lives. In 1950, the U.S. entered a bitter and bloody war in Korea. At a place Marines call the Punch Bowl, quarterback Eddie LeBaron led his platoon in fierce combat. One of the fellows next to me got his leg blown off with a mine, and I took him back to a medic and uh, then had to go back across the minefield. I did duty to my country, and I also uh, uh, had some notoriety in a sport that I loved. Vietnam became America's longest war players of the NFL were there defending the war-torn nations of Southeast Asia. Hall of Fame quarterback Roger Staubach was one of them. But when I was in Vietnam, uh, there was a number of uh, friends that I lost. There's so many that are affected uh, from Vietnam that are disabled veterans and we should do everything we can to uh, take care of them. Rocky Blyer of the Pittsburgh Steelers arrived in Vietnam at the height of the war in 1969. One of our companies had been hit in the field. All of a sudden the machine gun opened up and felt a thud in my leg. I'd been shot. There was never a doubt in my mind that I would not be able to come back and play. I got a chance to, to start in the first Super Bowl. Since Vietnam, Americans were called to fight in other lands. In 1991, before he became a Dallas Cowboys defensive tackle, Chad Hennings was flying an A-10 Warthog over Iraq. To fly an A-10 Warthog, it's a lot like being a defensive lineman in football or an offensive lineman. It's an aircraft that gets down, gets dirty, it does the grunt work, and it fit my personality perfectly. Since September the 11th, 2001, thousands of Americans have joined the war against terrorism. Arizona Cardinal safety Pat Tillman was among them. Times like this, you stop and think about just how, not only how good we have it, but what kind of a system we live under. After giving up the game he loved, Pat lost his life while serving in Afghanistan. Whenever America called, the mighty of the NFL responded with courage and sacrifice, showing they treasure freedom above all else. In war and in football, the will to win and the will to excel are the things that endure.